It all began with 16 contestants vying for the title of the internet's most talented photographer. Now it's been whittled down to the final three. Only one will win IMTP, with a fantastic prize that includes flights to Hong Kong, accommodation, a DSLR and 1,000 US dollars spending money. So we've finally reached the final of IMTP, but it hasn't come without drama and controversy. Last week it was Hessel who got eliminated, and the judges picked out an issue about the cropping, but it turns out it was the print that cropped off part of the lady's head. So we took it to the judges again this week to show them and see what they think of the non-cropped image. I don't think it made any difference. Well, I've, I've seen this one before. Sure. So that's, I'm, I'm basing my comments on the two weeks ago. So that the, means... It's still the weakest of the three, as of now, anyway. Even in its uncropped version, it doesn't do any more for me than it did cropped. It's just a little bit of additional texture. I still miss the person in the picture. And... Um, so it doesn't change much? No, no, for me it doesn't. Okay. It, it, it is a little bit better with the extra um, quarter of an inch on top, but still the picture doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't tell me anything. Yep. It's just um, it's a lady throwing her head back. So for the judges who saw last week, it's still unanimous? Yes, for me it yeah. definitely is, yeah. Mark? Yeah. Well. Okay. So there we have it. They've decided that Hessel's photo is still not good enough to reach the final. So, it still went to the three finalists, Charlie, Natalia, and Forrest. And the challenge was a dual challenge. We had two quotes, one from Henry Cartier-Bresson and one from Cindy Sherman. The Henry Cartier-Bresson is, in photography, the smallest thing can be a great subject. A little human detail can become a light motif. And the Cindy Sherman one is, the still must tease with the promise of the story of it itches to be told. We had a dual challenge because we thought it's the final, we need something bigger. And how we're going to work it with this is that it will be judged anonymously and they'll score the points for each photo. They'll be tallied up and that's how we find a winner. So let's see how they do. Natalia has come a long way. She's been highlighted as one of the firm favourites and she's proved her worth by reaching the final. Well, I think I can win this competition because during all the challenges I have been working very hard, tried to do my best and consider it the critic of the judges. But overall my main purpose was to improve myself and to improve my knowledge and I think I succeeded in that. I see the improvement of myself as a photographer and I'm very proud of myself. Привет! Привет! <laughs> and I don't know what else oh, to I... say. I've forgotten all the words. <gasps> it's so awful. I know, it's, <laughs> it's like a, a bucket with a hole in it, it just keeps falling out at the bottom. You should take it more seriously. <laughs> I, sh I should, I should, definitely. Uh, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Last week was just crazy. Yeah. I was very angry and very tired. Uh, I was very nervous. I was never or very nervous about the challenges and um, something was going not very good, so I was uh, in a big stress. <laughs> My photo is about the loneliness in a big city, and I think this problem is never old for millions of people all over the world. And looking at this photo for the first time, we can see only a building, but then we notice a guy with a laptop, and the whole photo changes in a moment and it gives us another emotions and another feelings. The second quote asked us to create an interesting photo with a story. And actually I had two photo shoots for this photo because my first attempt was not very successful because I didn't have much time for the preparation and during the photo shoot it was very very cold and windy and I had to work very quickly and when I came home I realized that I don't like the result 
and I decided to try one more time uh, with another stuff, with another makeup, with another place and overall I can say that I am very very proud of myself um, that I was brave enough to try to remake photo just before the deadline. We went, we, we took the photos to the judges, there's seven judges this week. Michael Coyne, I'm from Australia. I'm always on the lift. <laughs> and uh, Gareth Jones, and I'm always on his right. Gareth doing a good Graham Newton impression. <laughs> Carsten. You are Carsten, I'm Carsten. I'm Carsten. Hello, I'm Graham. I'm Kai's right hand man today. Hi, King Wei from the US. And I'm Herman. I'm always on the right. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me a while to realize what the subject in this photo is. Of this someone with an ad for The thing is, you know, every little thing could be a main subject if you make it stand out in your photo. Yeah, and, and, and the yeah. problem is it's about Just, really standing out. Yeah, the right. block of guys cold. Yeah. I don't even know what, what this is about. And it does take you a while to find a guy. You look at the blocks of flats and you think, well, okay, you see this little guy down here. So it's a very weak attempt at satisfying the brief. Yeah, there's a little detail in there. So that's obviously what the photographer is focusing on. That the person works against the background. I think if separating the person from the background more by putting the background maybe more out of focus or obscuring it otherwise or just getting closer to the person. Um, up closer, I think it could have it would have worked quite well with these windows and um, but I, but I, I don't think it's answering the brief, which is the main main thing. In terms, of, I get what he or she is trying to get at. This is the little detail in the um, in the picture, but I see this is guy on, on laptop. But if, if it reminds me of something that I've seen before, there's a whole row of windows and there. The, Every little window is a little little story inside of maybe people having dinner, watching TV. I think that's where the detail, uh, yeah. according to the quotes. So it was my point of view. Yeah. It, uh, I made it. Uh, I wanted to show a big area, and then we noticed a little a little man. So it was my idea. So with your with one. The lady climbing the ladder and some balloons. Well, now that's really interesting. What the hell is going on there? Here is a girl up a ladder hanging on to balloon. Doesn't mean anything to me. It's, it's got no shape, no form, no design. It's just a girl sitting there. Is there a story that itches to be told in that, that picture? I think if, it, if there was, it needed to be a bit more um, abstract, you know, not seeing the face would have added a lot more interest to it. No, I, I think the, what, what's distracting me is this black, yeah, the black line. line. Yeah. It could, could be something going on here, but the black line, it's not adding or taking away. Well, it's taking away more of the story. Yeah. It's odd, not necessarily in a bad way. I like, I like the red, the red coloured hair. It's not, I like the, the lighting's nice, the soft lighting coming in from the window. The lighting on the subject's quite nice. Again, yeah, I would have cropped out the black. I would have moved the girl across a little bit, so the rule of thirds, very, I think quite important. Composition could be better. The story will be much stronger if one of this window or, or, or door is open. So the balloon you give the, sen the, the sensation that the balloon is going to float out of the window. Judges seem to raise the standards for the final. They weren't dishing out the niceties left, right and centre. I am very happy that I was chosen as one of the contestants for the EMTP because it's one of the greatest opportunities in my life. And I had a unique chance to try myself in so many styles and to be judged by professionals. Forrest has been on a roller coaster ride so far in IMTP. He's had plenty of highs, but he's also had a few lows also. Well, I think we might agree that I've taken some pretty stunning photographs. They're fun, they're creative, they're out of the box, and they make you look at it more than once and you go, wow, that's a pretty cool photograph. And so that's my aim, is to, if I get you to think that I've done something right, but if this doesn't sway you, I think I have something that will. You see, I spent many, 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 many seconds making this. And I think you'll agree that the information compiled herein is very persuasive. 
see this is a pie graph of the noses. See the nose nose. And if you'll uh, come with me and see, see forest dominates with the giant nose. Uh -huh. it's, it's like 12 feet long. I, people have to duck when I turn to the left. Natalia, she's got a nice Russian nose, but it's nothing compared to this Prussian giant. And then there's Charlie, he's a brick, tiny little nose. He's only 17 or 18, he doesn't have a big nose. And unicorns, they don't really count. But I think you'll agree with me that the nose nose, this giant schnoz, man. I should win because of this nose. Look at this nose. Anyway, in all seriousness, even if I don't win, I've had a wonderful time. It's been a great experience. I wouldn't trade it for a world. I'm not going to go and, wow, that sucked. No, I'm going to say this is something really cool. I've learned a lot from it, and I've really grown as a photographer, and I thank you for that experience. So. How are you doing? What's up? You want some Cheerios? I'd love some Cheerios, but uh, I just had a McDonald's breakfast. Nice and fat. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Western. Try and fatten myself up for, for the winter, like some some animal. Your photos, you had one of a, you know, the dude smoking a cigarette, and one of, uh, is you, isn't it? Lots of you. Maybe. No, I don't know. Maybe I found them on a blog somewhere. <laughs> My first shot was actually um, based on the Cindy Sherman quote. And so I went down to Occupy, Maine. Yeah, so there's a lot of happening down there. People all have stories. And there's a lot of interesting characters. And so I found this fellow named Matthew, but I really wanted to leave people wanting to know more. So I left subtle clues in the image as to what he is, where he is, and why he's there. And so I think the image turned out really well. But I really wanted to leave people wanting to know more. So I left subtle clues in the image as to what he is, where he is, and why he's there. And so I think the image turned out really well. My second image was just plain fun. Actually, the street that I shot that in was Forest Street. And so there's this really cool parking garage. And I wanted to play with an exposure, geometric patterns. And this is with Henri Cartier-Bresson. So the single human element becomes the subject. And so my main idea for the photograph was to have a model sit in. And I have this wonderful geometric pattern and then this wonderful spark of life. Fortunately, new to the city, don't know anybody, none of my friends are around, had to do it with just me. And then I just shot some still of myself up against um, a backdrop and then superimposed them. I wanted to first carry on with my idea of having just the one single element, but then I got cheeky and decided, you know what, this is the last time, this is the last photo that I'll be submitting. I want it to be fun, I want it to be really cool. I don't want people to go, ha, that's pretty cool, it's fun. The judges liked uh, the, the, the Trampy Fellow photo. Uh, well, some of them did. The lighting is really nice. It's obscure. It's very Cindy Sherman. So I think this is as close as one to the Cindy Sherman of the lot. I like the lighting. I like the lighting on his hand. Look how the lighting, so he's got light in his hand. It's lighting up his hand with the cigarette. I like the obscurity of it. And the fact that there's this light in the background here, those lights, have just broken up all that dark patch there. Nice picture, nice lighting, but I don't, it doesn't leave me, I'm not intrigued. I don't see why you like this little bits of light in the background so much. This to me is just accidental. It just happens to be there. Yeah, to me that's just, there's just no mystery there at all. It's just like, you stop some guy on the street, okay. he's lined up a cigarette. There's not much to this picture. Those, uh, those four or five spots, just accidental lighting, probably. We can use a couple of street lights or something. But it's interesting in, in, in a sense that those four lights are of totally different colors. Yeah, well, well they like the, red, the blue, yellow, and green. Straight a still straight out of a uh, Woody Allen film. There's no thought gone into that. Straight you out stop, of a Woody Allen film. You stop someone on the street, it's lighting up a cigarette, and you're like, hold on a second. That. It's Look sharper the than the other oh. ones. It's actually, it's, it's well framed, it's well shot, it's well thought out. This is why I've got a big table. There's uh, lots of space in between. <laughs> His photo of the Occupy Smoker photo divided opinions, and the debate got a bit heated at times. Um, they weren't so keen on your, um, your, is it a car park? Yes, car, parking garage. Yeah. Yeah, it's it like looks car like a car park. park. It looks like a car park. How, how does he hang out of the... Badge on no. the front. <laughs> this is photoshopped and, 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 and it's not good at The circle is wrong, the scale and is wrong. And it's badly done. It's a badly it's done Photoshop accident. Yeah, but this is a right. really bad attempt. It's, it's, it just looks. It doesn't look real at all. Well, all we gotta do is see this guy. Yeah, he's defying is, gravity. He's is, is doing like in front of the lad. It's just. It's bad. It's very. It's bad. 
sorry. I, I really, I, I don't get it. I really, I, I don't know why, why this was done. Really don't. It just, it's been very, dis very disappointing. Yeah, it's, it's very disappointing. And also, I mean, I just, I mean, look, looking at all the previous work from the same people. Yes. I mean, why would yes. somebody yeah. that has so far, uh, has yes. gone so far in the competition, has performed really well throughout, why would they submit something like this? Yeah. And maybe he or she took one segment and said, hmm, gee, that's not enough. Let's do it again and let's see what happens if we put a few more of these same guys. I just think he's gone too far. We would have just needed one figure, fairly natural, yeah. and and that would have been, as long as he was doing something sensible, not not a handstand. I have nothing against Photoshop as a tool, and if you apply it well, I mean, you can create a conceptual image. But I mean, it's such it's so crudely done, and I think without Photoshop, there wouldn't be this image. Talking about Photoshop, here's a contestant who's pretty good at Photoshop. It's Charlie. I think I should win this competition because. Uh, for the last five weeks, I've been consecutively the best, or at least the judges think I've been the best. Um, and I think my photos, they tell a story um, that all bang on for the subject. I think there's something going on, I quite like all this, uh, the spotlights and everything else. I think it just gets a bit too literal down the bottom with the uh, hypodermic needle and the flowers. I think that gets a bit twee, but I kind of actually like the top. It's almost like a mirror, but... Uh, I don't Too think obvious. it's very well designed and I don't think it really works. It's just that it's the needle. Yeah, I know. Wow, it's got a needle in it. Um, but I don't think it says anything else to me. I think it's quite boring. It's roses and uh, it's, it's got all these symbols of maybe a funeral or a death related thing. This is very, the foreground is very little, literal as Gareth said. I mean, the flowers, the little, whatever, jewelry, yeah. little box. And the syringe, I mean, they, they look very accidental. Yeah. It, there's no connection between the items for me. Yeah. And yeah. The, focus, the focus yeah. is really on the needle. It's just popped in yeah. there, it yeah. just has no context yeah. with, exactly. with the whole the whole. Image. Image. It the needle doesn't yeah. connect any, the, the, the syringe doesn't connect with the rest of the photograph. It's just a, an obscure thing stuck on one corner. And because you can't see anything in the actual photograph itself in there, there's nothing there. It doesn't tell you. There's no story. It's not, nothing is connecting. It's like all of these things sitting on the table yeah. and not one thing connects yeah. with the other. Yeah, yeah. Well, compared to the other two, this is it's, a it's much better stronger, than those two. Much stronger image. Yeah. Now, this photographer, he showed it to the young contestants and he titled it Auschwitz. I would have in my spotlight a bit to the white so as to show the hand. If you hadn't told me that it was supposed to be a, uh, a survivor from Auschwitz, I would have thought that would have, maybe it would have been a telephone number on his arm, or maybe he would have, he's an ex-con. Yeah. And yeah. He's, a, he's a guy sitting there in a sweater in a studio, and he doesn't look Jewish to me. He no, doesn't, or he doesn't look... He looks very British, actually. He doesn't look like an Auschwitz survivor so to he me. Like he's, he's sitting there in his Marks and Spencer sweater, <laughs> and for me, I'd, and... <laughs> You know, the, the hands are in, but the ha one of the hands Product is cropped. Placement, huh? Product placement. Oh, sorry. I think from a portrait point of view, I think it's very unfortunate. The hands are very, very strong element, and the fact that one of them is already partially, partially cropped. The image doesn't give any other hint yeah. Yeah. what it's about, so it doesn't really tell me the story. Yeah. I like it because, and but it, we, we we're not seeing this in the right context. It, it's not presented. Properly, if we have a whole wall of these printed in a different size without the title, but with, with these little details, then it will fulfill the brief. We have a whole. Yeah. I like the way it's lit, and I like the I like the expression on his face. I don't mind <clears> that it's. I think it's badly cropped on the left hand side, but I actually like the expression on his face, and and mm -hmm. I like the lighting. Yeah. The judges had quite clearly expressed their opinions about Charlie's final photos, but there's one problem that needed to be resolved. Charlie has won the last five rounds in a row. In the previous round, he did this street shot of a cyclist and what he said was a billboard in the background. And uh, I was just walking around King's Cross and uh, just about to where I work. Um, and got a nice little image, I think, with the billboards looking, looking down at a cyclist. The judges loved this picture, 
but after the show was aired, we got reports from various people that the billboard was not real, and in fact taken from someone's blog without permission. Charlie had finally owned up to taking the banner from a blog, and sticking it into his mobile phone challenge photo. So the issue had to be discussed. This guy, Charlie, he did a shot uh, last time, uh, it was this shot, and oh, yeah. he actually won the challenge with this shot. But as it turned out, after the elimination round, um, this part of the photo is actually taken from a blog. Wow. Without oh, permission. No. Mm. no. 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 So, no, as in Arab out. Out. Disqualification. Yeah, disqualification. Yeah. You can't. It's got to be one photograph. Well, and you can't steal other uh, people's images too. No, you can't steal other people's images. I don't mind him use, uh, use a picture. I think it's wrong that he's used someone else's picture without the permission. I don't mind him sampling or whatever like that, but no. This image only one because we we all believed it to be it was a, a nice a really nicely nice seen moment. and yeah. captured moment. Moment, moment. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Moment. I mean, it's, it's, it's a total it's a total mock up. At first, he claimed it was a billboard. He didn't yeah, I, 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 yeah, I heard him say that. But if um, you claimed it was something else, and it's not, then it's dishonest. Then it's and not his original course, work if he's stolen. It's a mobile thing. phone challenge if, mm. if it's not shot with a mobile phone. Oh, right. just that, it wasn't even shot with a mobile phone. Oh, no, because that was just straight there from the log. It's out. Well, if it's not shot phone. with a mobile phone, it's out. So, uh, what do you think? I think Does he deserve to be in the final? Oh, no, no, I would say disqualified. Well, okay, disqualified. Yeah. Disqualified. Disqualified. Yeah. Disqualified. Casting? Yeah. No, I think this is a deal breaker. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. a total yeah. deal breaker. Yeah, I, I think that's a, a, that would be a bad example to, to say if you let him do. Yes, yes. Charlie has really grown in the competition and showed us his great promise and creativity in his work. But this goes beyond the whole issue of using Photoshop for photography. This is an ethical issue. It's about knowing where the line is and knowing not to cross it. And unfortunately in this situation he's crossed it and the decision was unanimous. So after that dramatic disqualification it was back to the final with just Forrest and Natalia. Who would they pick as the winner? The judges had to make a decision and they came to the decision that you came as the runner-up. So you... I said runner-up. That's awesome. I said runner-up. That's awesome. I'm second, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it loses most of the impact had Charlie still been in it. Yeah. But I'm of the mind that Natalia is a fantastic photographer. Yeah. And I felt like this week was so hard and so harsh, and it was just right to the wall. Yeah. I felt like I really earned my place in the top three. And because technically, I could have, like, well, I guess I could have, like, faked down and said, eh, here's some pictures of the inside of my pocket. Yeah. But I don't think it would have been fair to the rest of the contestants who, you know, we all worked against, you know. Yeah. And so I really wanted to earn that spot. So, that's, yeah, it, it was great. I had a wonderful time. Um, I met some really cool people. Yeah. Um, and I think I'll stay friends with them. And it's really cool. I'm thankful for that. Hell yeah, I have the world's most audacious title. I am the internet's second most talented yeah. photographer. Yeah. How do you like that on the resume? Hands down. Yeah, that's a, that's Hands okay. down. You know, this is Natalia. Nat Natalia from Russia. So, uh, well, let's give Natalia congratulations. a round of applause. Well done, Natalia. Where's the champagne? Let's get drunk now. Where's the champagne? <laughs> and Natalia, you are the winner. You have won IMTP. Oh my god. Congratulations. <laughs> so you Oh, uh, you you have promised me to say it in Russian. <laughs> oh shit. Remember? 
How do how do I say in Russian? Pipa bidila. Pipa pipa de pipa de vida. Pipa de vida. You have won a trip to Hong Kong. You have won a camera. Uh, spending oh money. God. You get well. put up in a hotel. So that's uh, that's a pretty fantastic. <laughs> what is that? That's your that's your crown. It's my crown. Yeah. You. <laughs> I'm I'm a perfect queen. You are the queen of IMTP. Yeah. What what are you going to do for the rest of your day then? Uh, I'm going to work now. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's right. Yeah. T <laughs> tell everybody. This is uh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> When we first saw Natalia from Russia's audition video, her talent was quite apparent. Since then, she has shown everyone her eye for the aesthetically pleasing, creating some wonderfully artistic shots. Since her time in IMTP, her work has been consistent throughout, and in the end, she kept performing well right to the end for her to become the winner of the internet's most talented photographer. So there we have it, Natalia is the internet's most talented photographer. Let's hope this show will have helped the contestants progress with their photography. But that won't be the last we'll be seeing of Natalia. She will be coming to Hong Kong and we'll be making a video with her. Stay tuned. See ya.